हेलो व्यूअर्स माई सेल्फ इज़ डॉक्टर नीता एंड यू आर वॉचिंग माई चैनल लर्न लिटरेचर विद डॉक्टर नीता सो लेट एस बिगिन टूडेज टॉपिक हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी वुड लर्न अबाउट दिस लिटरेरी टर्म कन्फ्लिक्ट इट इज एसोसिएटेड विद ड्रामा नॉवल एज वेल एज द शॉर्ट स्टोरी and in your syllabus it is prescribed in the dramatic elements so now let us begin to define this term conflict as far as the meaning is concerned conflict is a struggle between the two opposing forces and in the drama you always see the struggle between two opposing forces and that is why conflict is considered to be the key element in drama it may be called the central struggle between the two opposing forces and it is conflict that drives the plot creates tension and also enhances the interest of reader so these are the function of conflict that it is the driving force behind the plot through conflict there is tension in the story or in the drama which keeps the audience interested in the story till the end it sets off the event that make up the plot i think all of you are aware of the structure of the plot the different stages in the plot initially there is exposition then there is rising action climax falling action and ultimately there is resolution and all these structural part of the plot are in accordance with the conflict so conflict is such a significant part in the plot of the drama it is the driving force of the plot of a play or the drama it may be between man within a man or between a man and external forces such as society nature or fate so where would you see this conflict in a play this conflict may be between man and man or it may be within a man it means there are different kind of forces that are working uh, within a man Uh, such kind of conflict you may also see uh, we would explain it with the help of example later on in this uh, uh, presentation or this conflict may be between man and the external forces these external forces may be society nature or fate conflict is essential for developing the story's themes and also for the growth of the character and the development of the character it means conflict is such an essential thing without which the theme of the story cannot be projected and the growth and development of the character cannot be uh, shown or uh, interpreted on the stage uh, without the help of conflict now what is its purpose and importance uh, as i told you it drives the plot and it creates the suspense and it keeps the audience engaged it develops the characters it means it is also helpful in the development of the characters the characters are often defined by how they respond to conflict allowing for the growth and depth it also reveals the underlying themes and messages of the story um, and it also creates a tension and suspense by engaging the audience emotionally cognitively as they anticipate the outcomes of the various conflicts presented so this is also one of the significant purpose of conflict that it keeps the audience engaged emotionally and cognitively as they begin to interpret the outcomes of the various conflicts that are presented on the stage now types of conflict i have summarized here uh it mean man versus man this is external and internal it may be of two type external it been man 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 versus nature man versus supernatural man versus society it is internal it means man versus self 
uh, it means two opposing kind of emotions are there and the man is going against his own self. Now, with the help of examples try to understand uh, man versus man. Uh, for example, William Shakespeare's Hamlet, the main conflict is between Hamlet and King Claudius. It means man versus man. Hamlet is against King Claudius. Hamlet seeks to avenge his father's murder by Claudius, creating a direct opposition between two men. And uh, in Hamlet, we can also see uh, the conflict between man versus self. Uh, his soliloquies are the example of the fact that he is also fighting with his inner self. Uh, that is why he is unable to take a final decision. The famous soliloquy to be or not to be is also indicative of the fact that he is uh, fighting against uh, or is struggling against his own self. So, uh, it is uh, example of man versus man and it is also an example of uh, man versus self. Another example of man versus self is Shakespeare's Macbeth. Macbeth faces internal conflict as he struggles with his ambition and guilt. Uh, that is why he is struggling with himself. His desire for power leads him to commit regicide. He kills the king because of his ambitions, but he is tormented by his conscience throughout the play. It means he is fighting against his own self. Uh, the example of man versus society is Arthur Miller's The Crucible. It is a very famous play by Arthur Miller in which the character John Proctor faces conflict with the society as he opposes the hysteria and unjust witch trials in Salem. So, a uh, whole of the society is against Proctor. So, the struggle or the conflict in the crucible is man versus society. Then example of man versus nature is Hemingway's novel The Old Man and the Sea. It is the story of an old Cuban fisherman Santiago who struggle against giant marlin, a fish in the gulf stream. So, uh, here uh, the struggle is between um, Santiago and that fish. So, it is a tale, tale of man versus nature and focuses on Santiago, Santiago's unwavering determination and respect for marlin even as he battles it. So, he is trying to catch that marlin and uh, his whole of the struggle is with that uh, with that marlin so here there uh, in this uh, novel we can find uh, the conflict uh, between man and nature so next uh, example is sophocles oedipus rex it is the example of uh, man versus fate or supernatural oedipus faces a conflict uh, with fate Despite his efforts to avoid the prophecy that he will kill his father and marry his mother, he unwittingly fulfills it, illustrating the inescapability of destiny or fate. So, as uh, you are aware of the story of Oedipus Rex, that uh, uh, there was a prophecy that uh, Oedipus will kill his father and marry his mother, uh, he tried to avoid it. but Ultimately, he has to face uh, the same things uh, as uh, we are defined in the prophecy and this indicates that man cannot uh, save in any condition, uh, cannot save himself from his fate. So, here the struggle of man is with fate or the supernatural powers. So, this conflict uh, is such a significant thing which is very essential to drive uh, the play or the story, it helps to move the story forward. I think you are able to understand uh, conflict. So, thanks for your patience listening.